Today, we're working on the Corvette. Two things that's most of the time neglected on most old rear wheel drive cars is the transmission fluid on straight drives and universal joints. And that's what we're gonna be taking care of today. We got universal drive shaft on the back, uh, universal joints on the drive shafts. So here's the universal joints. Here's the inside up against, that's the that would be the differential. So what we do is we take the four bolts out here for the U-bolts, then we can slide it. And then if you look closely there, there are bolts over here holding these u bolt these u bolts on this side and then we can pull the drive shaft out so in all each drive shaft one on that side over there and then there's this one so there's eight bolts on each side uh, I guess I, I should say four bolts and four nuts on each side All right, when you get them out, this is what you're going to have. Now, I will take the opportunity to clean these up real good. They're so greased, they're so gummed up with grease, it's tough getting the nuts off of them. All right, this is just one side. You'll have the same thing on the other side. And that nut is a 9 16 Now, now we're going to take these off and that is a 5 8 you can do that with a ratchet all right once all your bolts are out you just pull out the bottom there you go okay now this moves pretty good this way that cap feels good this one feels mighty dry but here's the well, the cap fell off so it has to be replaced anyway on this end moves fine that way but this end is really really tight so that outside one's bad on this side Yeah, you can almost see where the bearings have been making a groove in that. And when you rub your finger across it, you can feel it. So both U-joints on this shaft need to be replaced. And on this one, well, one of the caps fell off in the dirt. Most of the needles fell out. But it's got the same problem the other has in that it feels good this way. This cap here, though, you can feel the grooves don't feel quite as deep, but they're still pretty bad in there. This side, it's the same. Yeah, see it? It's very tight. So yeah, got to change all four of them. All right, we took one of these off already. The first one I took off on the other drive shaft, U-joints were all original. This one I think has been changed before. But the idea behind this is you're supposed to be able to use a little pair of pliers like this and squeeze these together, rotate them a little bit, don't always work. So this is the way I do it. Take me some channel locks. 
Well, we'll go this way then because we've already tried to come apart. Get you a small pocket screwdriver and get under it. And there it shot off into space. And you just work your way around. Now this one has got... I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to remove... <laughs> this here is supposed to be for putting a... You can put a grease fitting in this or not. We're going to get rid of that just to have it out of the way. Now it will come apart just a little easier, we hope. And there's the clip. Now we got it flipped over, we go at it the other direction. So here's what it's doing. You see that? So we just pushed this end out. Now we flip it over, we're going to push this end out. That should allow us to pull the joint out, then we can work these caps out. There's one of the caps. All the needle bearings. All the needle bearings came out with it. See there? And then you just pull the U joint out. So we're going to reset. Take one plate, put down. The cup will go here. Gotta go all the way up. This goes here. Take a little extension to put in there. Tighten it. And then it just pushes right out. It wasn't in there very much anyway. It was just barely in. And there's the other cap. And as you can see, the cap goes on there. Looks something like that. You'd have four on here. Obviously, the other cap, all the bearings fell out of it. But it'd be in there like that. On the other side, set up just a little bit different. And as you see... Okay, we'll flip it over. Same thing to this side. See, eventually it gets here, where you can pop a cap off this way. This will come off. This here leaves us with what we had a while ago on the other end. And then again, we're right here with this. Just set that there. And take our extension. Drop it in there. And 
that's all there is to it. Drive shaft is out of that, the U joint is out of this one. We still have this piece to deal with. Right, here's something I want to show y'all. This one says Spicer. Now the U joints I pulled out of this shaft were Spicer brand. So I'm sort of thinking this drive shaft may have been replaced at some time. This one, you see there's very little, if anything, there's hardly anything there. Cleaned it up on a, with a wire brush on the, uh, on the bench grinder. But I also want to show you something else. Which side was it? All this damage right here. That's the kind of damage that you usually see when one of these things bounces off the road. Universal joint breaks. And there was some fiberglass damage under the car that looked like the U-joint had probably came apart. Look here, this is the flange that bolts onto the wheel. I want to show you how thin this is right here. When you're doing this, try your best not to bend this. Now you can replace this for about $50 if something happens. And the other one, it, did, it bent a little bit and I had to work, work really easy to straighten it out. This one's going to be just a little different. Not much different though. See, so, you know, we've got both sides in, clips on both sides. We're going to take off. Oh, do you see that? Okay, clips are in both sides. We're going to take off the caps. Make sure all your bearings are still in, in place, right? They just pop off. A little bit of a vacuum seal to it. Alright. Like that. Take one of those caps. Do it this way so you, maybe you can see. cap over top and we're going to hold this up <laughs> and then we're going to have to find our hammer here it is let's do it again this up you put that back on there like that and we're going to rest it on the edge of this step and then we're just going to See if that's, that's good enough. So now we're gonna so we're gonna pinch it like this, set it in. There we go. Now we flip it over, take the other cap, pull it up, set this over top of the U joint. Just went all the way in, that wasn't necessarily a good thing. Okay, well, there it is. No U joints. All ready. Now we've got to put this one in. Same way we did the others. Alright, here's something that I noticed the other day, but I just found the significance of it today. I've got two different thicknesses of drive shaft. The skinny one is early Corvette, C2, C3 Corvette. So that's 68 through 74, so that's probably the original to the car. This other one is a lot fatter, it's from 75 to 82, so somewhere down the line, Someone has changed out this big one. Uh, I'd say that that rear end, these different these drive shafts probably fell apart at one time, and one of them was not rebuildable. And 
this one, even though it's all skin up on the end, they were able to rebuild it. I wish I knew how far down the line it was, but but anyway, just wanted to share that little tidbit and what that really means. Really, it means nothing. They'll both, they'll both work just fine. First thing that you can't see is the bolts on this side. Cleaned up all the threads on these bolts, so everything should just go right together, right easily. Yeah, that's the theory, anyway. Well, see here. Once you get it in this far, then you can start wrenching them down. A little bit of time. Gosh, that was a pain in the hind end. Big, big problem. These were so gummed up with grease and road grime, they didn't want to come out. Then, then they didn't want to go back in. The universal joints didn't want to go in. And then it's a matter of over here, this wheel assembly, the hub assembly, it wants to fall out. So you got to push it all back together to make this up here come together. And that's a pain. Alright, so I'll get the other side done and we'll move on to the next project.